Greetings and salutations ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about the revolver or the R.357. I've seen a lot of people recently that have been saying it needed to have a buff of some sort because most other semi-auto weapons are better, like the Pike or the Lights LH1. However, I, I disagree with this. I think the revolver is a very strong weapon if you can hit your shots, and recently Embark added a specific skin for the revolver to the item store that just makes it feel a whole lot more accurate. I don't know if it's because the iron sights are more centered or what, but using the revolver normally feels pretty bad to me because it has a ton of visual recoil. But with this specific skin, I've been playing extremely well with it. I think perhaps it's a similar thing to the Doe Wrangler Model 1887 skin, wherein the skin doesn't actually change anything, but it just makes the gun feel better to use. With the model, the Doe Wrangler skin makes the fire rate feel better, and with the revolver, the new Plunder Steel skin just makes it feel more accurate to me. Speaking of the Model 1887, it recently received a nerf, and I think the revolver is now just the new best shotgun if you can hit your shots. It has much better range than the Model 1887 ever had even before it got nerfed and at the closer ranges it can really put up a fight against a good model player especially if you're hitting your headshots. The light shotguns and the heavy shotguns are both good but they aren't meta because right now the medium is by far the meta class and so the meta weapon also lies on the medium. Now I'm not calling the revolver a meta pick but with the recent model nerfs I think this is a very very good alternative and since the medium doesn't have a second shotgun unlike the other classes you can pretty much just use this as a makeshift one and you'll have a pretty good time. You don't have to worry about hitting someone with all of the pellets or anything like that. You just point and shoot if you're an average player. And if you've got good aim, then you can challenge yourself to aim for those headshots to get that hefty damage multiplier. Now, in saying all of that, I do still think a visual recoil nerf would be fantastic. If there was a little bit less visual recoil on this thing, it would just feel so so much better to use so that is definitely something that i would like to see it is still outclassed by the pike and the lh1 and the famas at the longer ranges but like i said it puts up a very good fight at the closer ranges which can be difficult to do with those other weapons since the hip fire is pretty accurate with the revolver at the closer ranges the model 1887 will still be better at the like the only closer ranges unless you can hit headshots which is pretty hard to do but in the finals, there are lots of times throughout the game where your opponents aren't going to play super duper mega close. And I feel like the revolver is just a very good option for having a middle ground between being good up close and at point blank, and then also being decent at range. The revolver does have visual recoil, but it feels much better on the revolver than it does on something like the AKM because it's not always there whenever you're holding down the trigger. It's only there for like a split second after you shoot, so it's also pretty easy to ignore once you get used to it. But again, I would still like to see a nerf to visual recoil in general. And don't get me wrong, the Model 1887 is still a very, very good, but the reason it was nerfed was because it could put up a fight at range, and now it, it can't really, whereas the revolver still can't. So I think it's a pretty good replacement. That's pretty much it. I'm very much enjoying this weapon now. I've tried using other skins with and without the scope, and my accuracy was awful, but with this skin and iron sights, I've been having a very good time in pretty much all of my games, even without consistently headshotting people. So there you have it. The revolver is now the best shotgun for close-up and medium distances. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.